guys welcome back so i have not filmed a video in quite a while but i do have some new makeup products that i wanted to show you guys that i have picked up in the last couple of well months ish so if you would like to see what my thoughts are and how i like them then just keep on watching so i have the new hourglass um veil hydrating tint skin tint i'm sorry in the shade three so i just put on my moisturizer which is this one the embryolease moisturizer it's actually been working really well for me i know a lot of people like it and a lot of people don't like it so i'm just gonna put this on my skin i guess i don't really know how much to use how much not to use i've never used this before okay and then i'm gonna use my bk beauty 106 and we're just going to blend this out It actually doesn't look that bad, like, at all. I brought my, uh, I brought another foundation in here in case I didn't like this one. I haven't worn makeup in quite a while, actually, but I really want to get back into it. Because I have not in so long. And then I also post some on TikTok. So I might post like a condensed version of this on TikTok. If I can figure out how to do that. So let's go in with the other side. So how have y'all been doing today? Like within the last couple of. I guess year. I haven't been on here in a year, but like within the last couple of weeks, I've just been, you know, trying to get by. My husband's still gone, so that's always fun. Hopefully, he's home soon. That's what we're working on right now, is trying to get him home. Right, that actually looks pretty good. You ask me. Pulling it out with a brush really nicely too. Needing new brushes. These BK Beauty ones are awesome. I think she's still having a sale on them right now. And the 109, which is everyone's favorite, is restocked. And then I'm just gonna go in with my Natasha Denona concealer, which this is really nice too. and cover these bad boys up. I'm on my favorite time of the month. I also use a BK Beauty A506 to blend in my concealer. And it works really well. I used to be a sponge girl. Well, I was a brush girl. And then I fell into the hype of the sponge. And then I found these brushes from someone. I bought them because she was having a sale and I was like, he raves about these. So I'm going to get them too. And they weren't wrong. They work really well. I'm just gonna dab over everything with my sponge just to make sure I don't have any excess on my phone. So let me see if I can get like an up close shot. This is how it's looking. It's looking really nice. Mm 
And then I bought this little compact and it has my Huda Beauty powder in it because I am tired of carrying around the big bulky like tube that it comes in. And then of course, as soon as I buy one of these to put it in, they come out with a mini. Always how it works. And then I use a, like a little sponge guy to press that in. This is the Real Techniques one. Okay, and then that's it for powder for right now. <clears throat> and I go in with my newest bronzer, the Chanel um, 392, 95, 392. So it's the medium one. And this is actually the mini version. But I have been using this like crazy. I go with my uh, Smashbox, what is this? Angle powder, but I like it for bronzer because it's like that shape. So this is a really nice bronzer. I actually have all three of the shades in the mini, but I'm not a fan of the first one. It's just way too orange. So I'm actually selling that one on my Poshmark. If you guys want to go check it out, make an offer. That brush is not giving me what I want. So we're going to go in with this one. Pretty sure I use that one for blush and I haven't washed it. So that's why it's not doing the best performance. You're wondering, this was the BK Beauty 109. And then I'm pretty sure that's it for creams. So I'm gonna go ahead and set everything with my Kosas Cloud Set powder. Sorry if you can hear my son, he's watching Finding Dory in there, I think. My mother-in-law's here, so they're watching Finding Dory. They just got done watching Finding Nemo. Cause Dory is his favorite. And then I go and I set my creams just to kind of enhance everything a little bit more with powder. This is the House Labs bronzer in light four. I could have gotten away with like light two or light three, but for some reason I wanted light four. So that's what we went with. Okay, and then blush. I'm using my beloved Patrick Ta. She's that girl blush. We have hit pan, folks. We have, I need to order me a new one of these because this is pretty well used. Um, my mom uses it as well, so we both use it. The one with my Smashbox Buildable T Cheek Brush in the powder. Dang it, this would have been a good opportunity to use my new Patrick Tall blush. It's all right. I can hear my son scream a little bit. He hates his diaper being changed. And I go in with the cream. And just put that on top. I forgot how much Patrick Ta's stuff just like gives life to the skin. And then I've never used this, but I did buy it 
because I don't know why, but it's the Chanel Les Beige Illuminator in Pearly Glow. I'm just going to go with like a little bit. It's really like subtle, but I like it. And then I use my Rare Beauty Powder Duo. I really want to pick up the pencil. Everyone says it's really good. And I just do my brows, but I don't do very much to them. Sorry, I like concentrate whenever I do my brows. And then next I do a little Anastasia eyeshadow primer and I use my Rose and Ben what number is this? C31. And then I'm gonna go with my one of my newest but favorite palettes, which is the Pretty sure it's the Narcissist Loaded. I <laughs> bought this off Poshmark or Mercari, I don't remember which one, because it just looks so beautiful and I felt like I needed it. So, yay for me, needed another neutral palette. My son is just not having it today. Poor guy. Don't worry, I will edit out a lot of his screaming because that's annoying. I thought I had a shimmer that I wanted to go in with, but I guess I don't. So we'll just take one of these. Okay, so I got one of my Hourglass Scattered Lights in the shade Reflect. <laughs> my mother in law's mocking my son because he wants to scream and we don't want him to scream anymore, so we're trying to get him to stop. And my cat's in here. I don't know why she's doing it here. really hard to do your eyes with nails on. And then I go with my Ciroc curler. And then I use Kai Lash. I've used this, I think, once before. And it works really well. I was using the e.l.f. lashing level for like ever. And then I stopped because I have other mascaras and I'm sorry but that one's just really good I have like super long lashes but you know I still you know get by with them and then I use my makeup by Mario pencil in the perfect brown sometimes take this side and I smudge it and I actually am going to take my elf lash and roll to do my bottom lashes because they're very tiny. You can hardly see them. I don't know why I decided to film this on a Saturday when everyone is home. But I did. So, here we are. And then I do a little bit of highlighter, the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Classic. And then I do my lips 
I used the Rare Beauty in shade Wonder. And sometimes if I'm feeling that that's a little dark, I'll go in with Happy. And then that's all that I do for my makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one.